Guys, Dabi B in Lagos, rapper Emma Abaga and journalist Joey Akan trade wars online. That is, uh, you know, this guy loves the video so much that he has to relate everything of the argument to the video. And I think uh, the video is one big guy that Emma Abaga wouldn't want to face. And uh, even Burner Boy, Emma is afraid of Burner Boy. I remember what happened during the lockdown and all those kind of things. But Emma will just see in one of his um, you know room and then start tweeting to the world that recruits never came to him and all those kind of things i think uh, mi has lost his glory and uh, that is one thing a lot of people are looking at because the days of emma abaga he never invited any foreign like american artists to nigeria and just to have a say with them and all those kind of things or visiting them i remember when mi decided to call out uh, this person no rapper that comes to nigeria no uh, uh, a class rapper from us that comes to nigeria that mi won't call out and that is something i've noticed since the days of um, you know wale when wale came to nigeria just to visit uh, his motherland mi abaga called out wale said yes wale you saw us in us you know at the club you never bother to like you know kind of uh, associate with us and all those things another person recruits came down to nigeria mi called out recruits again another person in nigeria right now somebody decided to drag emma into it and said emma are you too afraid of davido to call out the baby because that is what you've been doing from time to time and uh, i know people will come at me and blast me and say a lot of things about that but whether you like it or not emma abaga um has done much for the culture hip-hop world but he stopped doing much you know the likes of olamide olamide is a rap artist and then and Olamide has been contributing to the hip hop culture in Nigeria, even the street songs and other things. And that is what a great personality does, unlike MI Abaga. You know, MI does not have good relationship with Ice Prince, no good relationship with Brimo, um, no good relationship with, uh, you know, some other guys like um, <laughs> CK and the rest. And these guys actually started together. And I think uh, Emma Abaga is one guy that needs to question himself that, man, what is actually wrong? Is it my attitude that, you know, pulls people off? I need to change about that. I'm not saying that everybody is perfect, but he needs to actually watch it and then live true to himself. That is something I would say in this video right now. But let us digress a little, talk about Bobriski actually coming out to say, man, you know what, Sabinus, who just won a prestigious award, that I'm going to arrest you because Sabino said something and Bobriski uh, found it like um, you know offensive and decided to say, but um, Sabino, you have to stop all these kind of things or else I arrest you, and that is what is also trending on social media. I kind of uh, still understand that uh, recently, um, you know, Dave was you know killed by some uh, Okada Okada operators in Lagos. And right now, uh, the Lagos state government has decided to ban Okada in major parts of Lagos, thereby taking food away from most of the innocent operators. I think uh, before we do something, we need to, you know, think and start, um, you know, and reevaluate before we take some actions. Jungle justice in Nigeria has been widely condemned by a lot of people in and out of this country, and that is one thing uh, people are really talking about at a point in time. Uh, this Bobo man, man, the big Bobo man. <laughs> yes, alongside um, Adam's link, we go talk about the story of uh, Mi Abaga, a recent uh, you know post that is going on. You know, Mi does not. Uh, it's a guy that always talk about uh, foreign artists in a kind of a uh, scornful way and people have noticed over time recently uh, somebody came out to see emma abaga why you know come drag that baby also now because you are fond of dragging wale dragging recross and other people why you not drag this are you too afraid of um davido so what do you have to say about emma uh generally you know i see you know i've always said this uh emma do be rapper me i like again you understand? It's mm. not uh, 
he is not somebody I, I like to even listen to it. Of course, it's music. He, he should just do more of singing and uh, do less of talking. Yes, he should right. just go into the studio so the and thing, use his song and, to beef. And and one of the things is that um, I don't see the reason why any whenever uh, any big stars come here and you start demanding for a seat at the table and yes. you talk to the person. To talk to the person. Okay. The talk, and when it comes to that baby, eh, although that baby wasn't uh, invited by any organization whatsoever, David do single handedly brought oh, that so baby. That baby came to Nigeria to visit his friend, yeah, David Do. Oh. So it's not as if uh, any form of uh, organizer or the rest. I think that's the reason why he didn't talk about it. Mm? Yeah. And it's quite unfortunate in himself during his own time. What did he do? He didn't do anything because Nothing. he didn't he bring anybody in. Good record label. That is a chocolate city. I chocolate used to be city. a fan of chocolate city. So in now he said they will hear that MI, that that MI. The other time he said he want to be a talent manager. <laughs> uh, people condemned him that uh, As the one way you be get a you talent manager, manager yeah. when you are greedy and you don't know how to interact with people. You feel so big. Even your rap game self, your rap, the way you talk during your your rap makes you feel so big. You know, if you wish to really listen, eh, people who are humble, you will know them through their rap. Yes. The way they rap. Mm, yeah. People who are feel so big that you shot, now you get big. big. You, do you see that oversized cloth? Uh, yeah. uh, oversized materials, uh, the what they lost suit for him when he was doing mm. this pre wedding uh, uh, shoot. Uh, Crazy. He liked everything as a large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, one thing I noticed about Emma is that uh, this guy cannot really change because uh, uh, people close to MI will tell you that man he's got a kind of uh, attitude even uh, Ice Prince they, I think they recently reconciled now uh, with Ice Prince I remember that Ice Prince left the record label angrily Brymo they actually dragged Brymo to court he dragged Brymo to court when he was the head of the chocolate city and then CK he told CK that that is his uh, style of singing. It's not but, uh, even um, you know, he's kind not of now, now, but, but now he's the biggest. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so he, he, he had the opportunity, he lost that. That's and cool. another opportunity in my heart was uh, he should have used his rap, uh, rap um, they say, act to actually do something during the Ensas protest. You know, that is trying to do something like which uh, Kendrick Lamar is doing right he's now. He's a politician. See, what the hip hop game is supposed to be doing in Nigeria, that is what the Af Afrobeat are doing. Yes. You understand? I'm talking yeah. about uh, the ease of the society. And it's supposed to be rap Afrobeat duty to do that. Yes. But they have uh, killed it. During the uh, Idris Abukarim time, they tried, but now they have killed it. Yes, now because Idris Abukarim, for you to do a song called Jaga Jaga and then they declare war against you, you know that. It doesn't man, kill it's not Even uh, Felas' uh, son, what is it called? Uh, Femi Kuti. Uh, the, I sorry, sorry, I sorry for Africa, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. It, after doing the song, they ran away. Those people are real people that even Faz is doing what Emma is supposed to have done now. Faz, Faz is using the song uh, as to address things if, happening. If there's any rapper that anybody should be looking forward to see in Nigeria, is Faz. Yes, not even Emma. not even Emma. Emma right is now. a C class. Uh, Rapper, he's not recognized among the B class. Yes, it was right. because Emma actually, according to what the guy said, he said Emma is this talked in 2011. So he's using his 2011 glory to actually say, Why not they give me respect and all this? Thing. What have you done in recent time? That is what people want to see. You understand? Forget about your past glories and all those, all those days you don't do, but you know, use that well. So try and do something. Um, different and something like it will be successful. That is what they are now telling M.I. Abaga. Alright, um, let's go into the story of Bob Risky and Sabinos. That is also trending out on social media and a lot of people are finding interest in this. Uh, Crossdresser Bob Risky threatens to arrest comedian Sabinos over his comments. And I think uh, we don't need such arrest right now. I think we don't need such arrest. You know, Sabinus is only making a statement um, out of the comic, um, you know, angle. And uh, Bob Risky is not a comedian. He's a very straight, 
um, unhappy person based on the criticism he received from time to time on social media. I think that is another angle that we need to look at right now. Remember that uh, Sabinus um, Bobriski actually posted something. He said, I don't have a single problem like this. Let me just keep enjoying my money and the ones my boyfriends give me to once in a while. That is coming in from uh, uh, Bob Risky. And Sabinus went on that to say, yes, yeah, senior man, your face show and your shoe shine. Uh, Bob Risky felt offended and decided to say, now nah, your papa be senior man. I will soon arrest you. Right now, this come to mind like, is Bob Risky a man or a woman? That is one thing I'm asking right now. Is Bob Risky a man or a woman? Let us have your own opinion about it. All right now, uh, a lot of people have said something about Bob Risky, whether he's a transgender or, um, you know, still a male. And I think uh, Bob Risky is just a cross dresser. That is something I think, I think he has not uh, finalized most of his surgery that he claims and all those kind of things. I think uh, those are stunt which he normally puts on social media and um, people get interested in it from time to time let's talk about banning okada in lagos right now a lot of people are just like you know shocked at the news why some people are excited about the news because of the kind of uh, havoc being caused by okada riders in lagos and that is quite uh, disturbing and not impressive at all um Recently, Dave, a uh, sound engineer, was you know killed as a result of jungle justice by Okada riders, and that culminated into something serious. And the governor of Lagos State decided to ban Okada in Lagos, and thereby taking food away from a lot of persons in Lagos, and that is quite disturbing. Last time I was in Lagos, I met an, uh, a, a very old friend in Lagos. This guy does Okada for a living. I think right now he will be crying because he's an innocent person, somebody committed crime. I think we have to take caution when dealing with uh, cases like that of Dave and we should stop jungle justice at the end of the day. Um, away from that, let me see speak to what I saw recently that is trending on social media. A lot of people are responding to this accordingly. Um, yes, uh, something is happening in Abuja in part of Abuja they called Day Day and uh, people are being attacked, uh, Igbo shops is being burnt and other things and that is quite uh, disturbing. According to a report we have, it said that there was a clash between the Igbos and the Okada riders in the area and the ma major the Okada riders in that area are Hausas and Fulanis at the end of the day. But this uh, culminated into something a lot of people lost their business and livelihood. They were all crying about that. I think uh, the government is partial. That is something I think because that crisis started, I think, um, yesterday. And to this moment, we've not seen soldiers coming out to arrest the situation seriously. And um, that is what people are looking at, saying that if Igbo people begin fight back now, begin kill them, then you will see soldiers coming out. And that is not going to help this country. And people are looking at, come 2023, we are going to vote a leader that believes in restructuring and that we assure us that man you know what let's restructure and start doing things differently that is something i kind of um you know i'm putting out here so you can decide to put your own opinion in the comment section below and share it across social media platforms so that a lot of your friends people will be a part of this great discussion i love you guys keep supporting free West deep keep watching my videos go and check me out on tiktok facebook instagram and twitter and be be a part of our great discussion.